Gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour. Welcome to the Saskatchewan Legislative Chamber, where we will witness the installation of the 22nd Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. Bienvenue à cette cérémonie qui donne à la Saskatchewan un nouveau représentant à Sa Majesté la Reine. I would like to begin the program by acknowledging that the land on which we gather this morning is Treaty 4 territory and home of the Métis. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the official entrance of the Lieutenant Governor-designate Thomas Malloy, as well as the official party. Please join in the singing of God Save the Queen. Following the singing of our royal anthem, please remain standing for an honor song performed by the Coacatus Boys.
Thank you. Please be seated. That's wonderful. Canada is, of course, a constitutional monarchy in which Her Majesty the Queen is our head of state. She is represented in the federal jurisdiction by Her Excellency, the Governor General, and in the provincial jurisdiction by the Lieutenant Governor. It is the Lieutenant Governor who gives royal assent to bills passed by the legislature and who ensures continuity in governance of our province. Le Lieutenant Gouverneur est responsable à veiller à ce que le Saskatchewan ait toujours un Premier ministre. Le Lieutenant Gouverneur convoque, prorogue, et dissous l'Assemblée législative, prononce le discours de trône et donne la sanction royale aux actes de l'Assemblée législative. The Lieutenant Governor, during his tenure, travels throughout Saskatchewan, is patron to numerous humanitarian endeavors, as well as artistic, sporting, and service organizations. He is also the fount of our provincial honor system, and as such, the Chancellor of the Saskatchewan Order of Merit. And he regularly presents provincial honors to deserving Saskatchewan citizens, as well as federal honors on behalf of the Governor General. Thus, the Lieutenant Governor encourages and celebrates our province's rich history and recognizes the people and the organizations that make Saskatchewan such a great place to live. I will now ask the Clerk of Executive Council, Mr. Paul Crozier, to conduct the installation of our Lieutenant Governor. Premier, Chief Justice, Mr. Speaker, Ministers of the Crown, Members of, ju of the, the Judiciary, Members of the Legislative Assembly, Minister and Representatives of the Government of Canada, Representative of the Privy Council, Representative of the, of the Office of Governor General of Canada, Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas Malloy appears before Executive Council of the Province of Saskatchewan today to present his commission of appointment and to be installed as the 22nd Lieutenant Governor of the Province of Saskatchewan. I wish to inform the members of Executive Council that the Honourable Robert Richards, Chief Justice of Saskatchewan, has been requested and authorized to administer the oath of allegiance allegiance and the oaths of office. Mr. Malloy, I present to you the commission of Her Excellency, the Governor General, with instructions, appointing you to the office of Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. Is it your pleasure that the commission be read and published? It is my pleasure. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, of the United Kingdom, Canada, and her other realms and territories, Queen, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith. To Thomas Malloy of the City of Saskatoon in the province of Saskatchewan, greeting. Be advised that placing special trust and confidence in your prudence, courage, loyalty, integrity, and ability, we, by and with the advice of our Privy Council for Canada, pursuant to sections 58 and 59 of the Constitution Act 1867 do hereby appoint you W. Thomas Malloy, Lieutenant Governor of the Province of Saskatchewan. During the pleasure of our Governor General of Canada, effective on the day on which you make and subscribe the oaths of allegiance and office required by section 61 of the Constitution Act 1867. And we do hereby direct you to carry out your duties in accordance with the powers granted to you by the Constitution Act 1867 and any other statutes, our present commission and the annexed instructions, or instructions that may from time to time be given to you by our Governor General of Canada or by our Privy Council for Canada, and in accordance with such laws as are in force in the province of Saskatchewan. And we do hereby direct that as soon as you have made and subscribed the oaths our present commission supersedes our commission issued under the Great Seal of Canada on March 15, 2012, appointing the Honourable Vaughan Solomon Schofield to be Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. In testimony whereof, we have caused these our letters to be patent 
and the great seal of Canada to be hereunto affixed. Witness our right trusty and well-beloved Julie Payette, Chancellor and Principal Companion of our Order of Canada, Chancellor and Commander of our Order of Military Merit, Chancellor and Commander of our Order of Merit of Police Forces, Governor General and Commander in Chief of Canada. At our Government House in our City of Ottawa, this 31st day of January, in the year of our Lord, 2018, and in the 66th year of our reign. By command, the Honourable Navdeep Baines, Registrar General of Canada, and the Honourable jo Jody wilson Raybould, Attorney General. Mr. Malloy, would you please take the oath of allegiance and the oath of office? I call upon you to take the oath of allegiance. I, William Thomas Malloy, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors. So help me God. I now call upon you to take <coughs> the oaths of office. I, William Thomas Malloy, shall well and truly execute the office and the trust of Lieutenant Governor of the Province of Saskatchewan and do duly and impartially administer justice therein. I shall well and truly execute the office and trust of the Keeper of the Great Seal of Saskatchewan's Province of Saskatchewan according to the best of my knowledge and ability, so help me God. Since 1869, the Canadian provinces have had their great seals. This reflects their co-sovereign status in confederation, where certain powers are reserved exclusively to provincial jurisdiction. The first great seal of the province of Saskatchewan was granted by royal warrant in 1906 by His Late Majesty King Edward VII. In 1986, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II granted a full coat of arms to Saskatchewan, and in 1991, a new great seal was authorized and incorporated the provincial coat of arms as well as the name of the reigning monarch. Its purpose is to make manifest the authority of the crown in the provincial jurisdiction, thereby permitting documents to be signed and sealed at Regina. The keeper of the great seal is the Minister of Justice and Attorney General who receives it from the Lieutenant Governor when he or she is sworn into office and returns it to the Lieutenant Governor when he or she leaves office. Your Honour, before you is the Great Seal of the Province of Saskatchewan. Is it your pleasure to commit it now to the safe custody of the Attorney General through the Premier? It is my pleasure. Premier, in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, 
I now entrust to the Minister of Justice and Attorney General, through you for safe custody, the great seal of the province of Saskatchewan, the symbol of sovereignty and authority in the province. Your Honour, on behalf of the Minister of Justice and Attorney General, I accept this responsibility which you have entrusted to him in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. And I promise faithfully to pass the great seal of Saskatchewan to the Minister of Justice and Attorney General's custody for as long as he shall remain Minister of Justice and Attorney General. The, sec sec the Secretary of the Saskatchewan Honours Advisory Council will now present the caller as the Chancellor of the Saskatchewan Order of Merit to the Lieutenant Governor, the Honourable Thomas Malloy. The caller displays the emblems of the Saskatchewan Order of Merit and the Saskatchewan Volunteer Medal linked by two elements of the Saskatchewan Shield of Arms, suspended with a medallion with the full armorial bearings granted by Queen Elizabeth II in 1986. The caller was pre presented to the province of Saskatchewan in 2000 as a millennium gift. Ms. Louise Simard, representative of President Glenn McCallum, Métis Nation, Saskatchewan, will present his honour with the Métis Sash. The or origins of the sash reflect the diversity of the Métis experience. The woven sash was used by the Métis as practical item of clothing. The sash has become the most persistent element of the, of the traditional Métis dress and symbolizes identification and pride for the Métis people. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I now proclaim W. Thomas Malloy, the Lieutenant Governor of the Province of Saskatchewan. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Please be seated. 
At this time, I call upon Archbishop Emeritus James Wise Gerber and Elder Ron Michelle to come forward to give the blessings. Let us pray. God, Father and Creator of all, open our hearts in gratitude. Help us to remember that all things come as to us as gift from you. We thank you for our province, its beauty, its resources, and its people in all our races, cultures, and religions. We thank you for our democratic system of government. Today we gather for the installation of Tom Malloy as the Lieutenant Governor of our province. In his office and in him we recognize that we are one community and that we are called to work together so that all might strive. We ask you to bless our new Lieutenant Governor, make him a strong symbol of unity and diversity, give him a special heart for the vulnerable, for our First Nations and for the Earth. Let his presence and work be a constant inspiration and call to all of us to strive together for what is best, to work together for our common good. Anoint him with your spirit of wisdom, courage, fairness, and generosity. May he and his office always incarnate the motto of our province, from many people's strength. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you to the Premier for inviting me to be part of this very important ceremony. First of all, as protocol, I ask the protocol officer to say my blessing in my language. the mama was a skilled. The Ganobatama, Haridota, he be, but it never was the Mantumino. The Mantumino, he be, but it never was the Vigiak. Haridi, what the Ganobatama says, the Tivitama. So we got to see him always. I is Kermitten. It's Kidaman up you. I'd like to thank the Premier, Scott Mo, for giving me the invitation to be the elder here to say some bl the blessing. I retired in October. So now I'm an elder. Thank you, Premier. <laughs> In my language, I thank the Lord, Jesus Christ and his Father, the God Almighty, that we are put here on earth as people. We are put here as children of God, regardless of race, regardless of denominations, regardless of how we conduct our business. I ask the Lord to look after Tom, Thomas Malloy, 
and to work together with the people of Saskatchewan. To work as we try and progress as First Nation peoples. To work together on some of the things that are happening with our young people. Our young people are very dire straits right now. And hopefully, Thomas will bring us together. We ask you that, Lord, because I think we have, as governments, we have that to give to our people, both non-First Nations and First Nations and Métis. And I see that we will do that. Thomas, through God's blessing and through, through our 100 plus First Nations in Saskatchewan, we know that they will do a good job. And we ask the Lord to look after you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And son. Amen. It is now my pleasure to ask Luther College's Advanced Vocal Ensemble, or of A, under the direction of Dr. Melissa Morgan to come forward to sing Secret Service by Giovanni Perlugi della Pastrina.
I now call upon the Speaker of the Saskatchewan Legislative Assembly, the Honourable Mark Doherty, for welcoming, welcoming remarks. Mr. Speaker. Your Honour, as Her Majesty's direct representative, the Lieutenant Governor is an integral part of the Legislative Assembly of Saskatchewan. In our system of governance, bills passed by this Assembly become law only after they receive the Royal Assent by the Queen's representative. Your Honour, the duly elected members of the Legislative Assembly have affirmed allegiance to our Sovereign. Her Majesty the Queen is the longest serving monarch in our history. Her devotion to duty, unselfish labour, and her unmatched concern for the welfare of the people of Canada for nearly 70 years has been an example to us all. Pursuant to this affirmation of loyalty to the Crown, we assure you of our support as you assume your duties as Her Majesty's Vice Regal Representative in our great province. As Speaker, it is my privilege to welcome you and to congratulate you on behalf of the Legislative Assembly. Thank you. It is now my privilege to call upon the Premier of Saskatchewan, the Honourable Scott Moe, to give his remarks. Well, Your Honour, Chief Justice, Mr. Speaker, members of the Cabinet, members of the Legislative Assembly, former Premiers Calvert and Romano, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Legislature. And welcome to our guests from Luther College. What a talented group, and they've shown that here again today. Thank you so much for joining us. Your Honour, on behalf of the Government of Saskatchewan and the people of our province of Saskatchewan, I wish to convey a heartfelt congratulations on your appointment here today. We are grateful an individual of your stature and experience will serve as Her Majesty's Vice Regal in our province. And we have every confidence you will be fully and actively engaged in your duties following in the tradition of your predecessors. Through the years in Saskatchewan, we have been blessed with exemplary Lieutenant Governors, individuals who have ensured the Vice Regal Office transcends the ceremonial, that it continues to be a vibrant, relevant and meaningful influence in the life of our province. That certainly was the mission of our departing Lieutenant Governor, and this morning I want to take a moment to thank Vaughn Solomon Schofield for her commendable service to our province during her time as Vice Regal. Your Honour, you are well qualified to serve in your new role. You are an eminent lawyer. You've earned an international reputation as a negotiator. And as one journalist observed, your fingerprints are all over some of the most important land claim settlements in Canadian history. You have a deep understanding of, of Indigenous people and their history. And Your Honour, I would say there are few people in this nation who have more insight into the vital relationship between the Crown and First Nations people than yourself. You have also you, you also have an impressive record of community involvement, particularly in the city of Saskatoon. You have touched thousands of lives through your charitable endeavours, and we thank you for the example that you have provided. And we have no doubt you will, you will be the champion of many good causes across this province in the years to come. And finally, Your Honour, there is the matter of your character. And if we were to enum enumerate the traits required for the Lieutenant Governor, there would be perfect alignment with your attributes. Everything we know about you tells us that you are a man of integrity, someone who is honest, and a man who is fair. You are undoubtedly patient, as all good negotiators are. You are empathetic, you are respectful, and many have called you unflappable. Indeed, there is a steadiness and poise about you and that is suitable for the position that you assume. The British author Harold Nicholson wrote that the crown represents the symbol of continuity in an epoch of change, the, ele the element of cohesion in times 
of mutability. Governments come and go, wrote Mr. Nicholson. Politicians rise and fall, but the crown is always there. Your Honour, it's reassuring to know that you will be there for our province and for our people in the years to come. Serving Her Majesty, serving all of Saskatchewan as our Lieutenant Governor. Sir, we wish you all the best as you take up your new duties. Thank you. It is now my privilege to call upon Mr. Ryan Miley, Leader of the Opposition, to give his remarks. Your Honour, Chief Justice, Speaker, Mr. Premier, all the members of the Legislative Assembly, Premiers Romano, Premier Calvert, and all of our friends and guests assembled here with us this morning. Bonjour et bienvenue à tous. Welcome everyone. It's my pleasure to add my thanks to Vaughn Solomon Schofield for her exemplary service in this role and my immense pleasure to join in congratulating the Lieutenant Governor on continuing his lifetime of service with this new and extremely important role. With a new speaker, a new premier, a new leader of the opposition and now yourself as our new Lieutenant Governor, it is truly a season of change for our province. And I'm encouraged by what your appointment may signal for the character of that change. Reviewing your long and impressive record of accomplishments, Your Honour, I kept returning to the thought that you're very much the right person at the right time to be assuming the duties and responsibilities inherent in the work of the, of the Lieutenant Governor. In part, I say this because Though both sides of the aisle spend a lot of time pointing out our differences, as we should, I know that we all want, everyone in this House wants, with all sincerity, what is best for the people of this province. We've heard a recent commitment from both the Premier and myself to find opportunities to collaborate to that end wherever possible. And Your Honour, your reputation and experience negotiating such historic adva advances as the Niska Treaty is of tremendous significance as we seek, as a government and opposition, to work towards real reconciliation, honourable relations and real action on closing the gap in health, in justice, in income and education between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in Saskatchewan. Your career has exemplified the values and practice of bringing people of diverse viewpoints together around common ground in search of the common good. As the Queen's representative in Saskatchewan, Your Honour, please know that your government's loyal opposition stands ready to perform its service and to engage constructively in the work of serving the people of Saskatchewan. I congratulate you on your new role and I look forward to working with you and learning from you. Thank you. It is now my privilege to call upon the Honourable Lawrence Macaulay to give his remarks on behalf of the Prime Minister and the Government of Canada. Thank you very much, Your Honour, Chief Justice, Mr. Speaker, members of the Executive Council, Mr. Miley, distinguished leaders, Reverend Clergy, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege to be here today on behalf of the Prime Minister of Canada for the installation ceremony of the new Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan, the Honourable Thomas Malley. Mr. Malley has uh, significantly contributed to this province's history as well as Canada. And I am honoured to be here in Regina to welcome him as Saskatchewan's 22nd Lieutenant Governor since Confederation. I would, like, I would also like to thank the, uh, the outgoing Lieutenant Governor, the Honourable Vaughan Solomon Schofield, for her dedication to the public service and the people, businesses and communities of Saskatchewan. Your Honour, I have full confidence you will excel in your new role. The people of, of Saskatchewan can count on you to represent them very well. 
We're, we are here today in front of the people and the community. You have been serving selfishly for many years. People who are proud of you for your work as an author, as an advisor on indigenous issues, and as former chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan. Your outstanding work and dedication to this province has been recognized for years. The City of Saskatoon Certificate of Distinguished Community Service, the Saskatchewan Order of Merit, and your induction as the Officer of the Order of Canada. As Prime Minister Trudeau said when he announced your appointment, you are indeed an outstanding negotiator who helped reshape this country. Not many of us can say that we worked as Chief Negotiator for the Government of Canada and helped create Nunavut in 1999. I'm sure I can't. Born and educated in Saskatchewan, you know what drives the province's prosperity. While the province is rich in resources, oil, natural gas, potash, wheat and canola, it is the people who are the real backbone of the province. As Minister of Agriculture and Agri-Food, and most importantly, somebody who bought, uh, was brought up on a farm in Prince Edward Island, I am, of course, particularly interested in the work your farmers have done in recent years. For example, they have been seeing record-setting yields in wheat, canola, and barley, among other crops. This is something that both our province, your province, and our country can be very proud of. The province has also experienced a growth in population, reaching a record high in 2016. A diverse group, indigenous people, farmers, workers in oil and gas sector, many have people who have come here to find a better life call this province home. You as Lieutenant Governor will have a unique and important role helping these people as well as businesses and communities within Saskatchewan to realize their dreams and break any barriers that they face. You will learn from them about what they need to build a better tomorrow for their children, grandchildren and their communities. And as the Queen's representative, you will have many formal duties, standing as a true symbol of our heritage and a testament to the strength of our traditions. On behalf of Prime Minister Trudeau and the Government of Canada, I wish you tremendous success in your new role as Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, His Honour, the Honourable Thomas Malloy, Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. Premier, Chief Justice, Mr. Romano, Mr. Calvert, Mr. Speaker, members of the Executive Council, Mr. Miley, Federal Minister McCauley, Chief Justice Popescuel, and all the members of the Saskatchewan Judiciary, members of the Legislative Assembly, elders and chiefs, ladies and gentlemen, friends all. Good morning and thank you, each of you, for being here today in Treaty 4 territory. Our great province encompasses six treaties between Indigenous peoples and the Crown, treaties which enable us to live in peace and friendship for as long as the sun shines and the waters flow. These are the ancestral lands of the Cree, the Soto, the Assiniboia, the Dene, and Dakota, and this is also the home of the Métis. We are grateful to share this land with you. Some of you have traveled a great distance. Please know how much your presence means to me. I look forward to visiting with you following the ceremony. I do want to acknowledge my family, including my brother George, sister Sharon and Mary, and their partners, and my daughters Corey, Jennifer, Allison, and Catherine, their partners, and my 11 grandchildren, as well as Corinne Shepherd and her children. Thank you all for your love and support, and especially for being here with me today as I begin this remarkable journey. 
Some of you have spent a great deal of time in this chamber, but for others, this may be your first visit. I have been in this magnificent building on numerous occasions, but I still remember my first visit. As a boy, my grandfather brought me here for a tour, and we climbed the stairs of the dome, which I understand is now closed. My grandfather, Tom Malloy, whose name I carry, was a provincial civil servant for more than 31 years. He was Saskatchewan's first Deputy Minister of Labour, and perhaps more significantly, was recognized as the father of credit unions in this province. My own father was Secretary Treasurer of the Separate School Board for 18 years, and my mother had also worked for the provincial government. And despite my youthful appearance, I have some 36 years in public service at the negotiating table working on Aboriginal land claims on behalf of the federal government, the governments of British Columbia and Ontario, and also proudly for Saskatchewan. I greatly appreciate the commitment and experience of our public servants who supports and are critical to maintaining parliamentary democracy. Thank you for your many contributions to the people of Saskatchewan and to Canada. Of course, as Lieutenant Governor, I will have the honour of returning to this chamber many times in the years to come to deliver the speech from the throne, to provide royal assent to legislation, and to prorogue and open legislative sessions. Friends, I want you to know that I greatly value the extremely important duties now assigned to me, pursuant to Canada's constitutional monarchy. I shall do my very best to honour Saskatchewan and Canada in the performance of my duties. I'm grateful to the members of the military and police forces who are participating here today, ten, including 10 field artillery who will be providing the gun salute, the 15 wing moose jaw who will provide the fly pass, the military guard on the parade outside, and those in the honor guard standing behind me. Our military and our police forces continue to perform their critical roles with principle and character. I want to express my gratitude to Archbishop Emeritus James Weisgerber and Elder Ron Michelle for your prayers this morning. Thank you, my friends. Finally, I'm grateful to Joe Kingfisher and Jason Littletent of the Quakatoos Boys for the honor song the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan for the sash, and many thanks to our musicians, trumpeter, sub-lieutenant Matthew Field, and Luther High School Vocal Ensemble. Weren't they all great? I'm also grateful to the staff of the Protocol Office, the Lieutenant Governor's Office, and the Speaker's Office for planning today's event. Thank you all for making this a very special occasion, not only for me, but also for our province. It's with great humility that I join a remarkable group of individuals who have previously represented our sovereign in Saskatchewan. In recent years, Sylvia Fedoric left an indelible mark on this province while in the vice regal office she implemented the Lieutenant Governor's Northern Student Awards, a program that even today results in higher school attendance and increasing enrollment in post-secondary education. Jack Weeb established the Lieutenant Governor's Award for Outstanding Service to Rural Saskatchewan to recognize the extraordinary commitments of our Reeves. Linda Haverstock celebrated the arts through many creative initiatives, including the Saskatchewan Centennial Celebration of the Arts Gala, which was attended by none other than Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh. Gordon Barnhart, with whom I worked at the University of Saskatchewan, 
implemented the Lieutenant Governor's Leadership Forum, a program that has a lasting impact on the youth participation and in turn on our province. And finally, I wish to thank the Honourable Vaughan Solomon Schofield for drawing much deserved attention to the service and sacrifices of our military, police officers, firefighters, and paramedics to whom we owe so much. All of these great Canadians made major contributions to our province and to Canada, and it is my hope that I too will be able to contribute in this office. As a boy growing up in Saskatoon, I never dreamt that I would one day obtain a law degree. In fact, there were many people who were surprised that I did. <laughs> Nor did I dream that I would one day negotiate treaties across this country. I never imagined that I could write a book or become chancellor of my alma mater, the University of Saskatchewan. And I certainly never dreamt that I would one day represent Canada's Queen. But here I am, thanks to the skills and support of all who influenced me in my early years as a student and throughout my lifetime. Her Majesty has led a remarkable life. She has provided consistency in an ever-changing political landscape and has assured the continued imperative of the monarchy. She has served as sovereign through the terms of 12 prime ministers and nine Saskatchewan premiers. She epitomizes devotion to duty and has adopted her role to modern democracy. In her first ever televised Christmas message in 1957, she so eloquently said this, quote, I cannot lead you into battle. I do not give you laws or administer justice, but I can do something else. I can give you my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the peoples of our brotherhood of nations." End quote. Friends, if I'm permitted during my time as Lieutenant Governor to echo the words of our Queen, I can give you my heart and my devotion to this province, to Canada, and to all of the people of Saskatchewan. And friends, our Queen has visited Canada on some 22 occasions, including six visits to Saskatchewan, and has reflected on the best of Canadian qualities and has encouraged us to become even better. Our monarch is an exceptional individual, but she is more than that. The crown is a powerful symbol that unites our vast and diverse nation. I remember well in 2005 when the Queen visited during Saskatchewan Centennial. I was charged with welcoming Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh onto the University of Saskatchewan campus. My daughter Allison accompanied me on that occasion and it was a great thrill. However, the real piece de resistance was to be photographed with Her Majesty and Her Royal Highness at the President's residence. President McKinnon and family were the first to be photographed with the Royals, and no sooner had the flash gone off than the Queen and the Duke disappeared up the stairs. Our big moment of glory was done, gone. <laughs> All I could think about was that old Charlie Brown line from the Peanuts comic, comic strip, Rats. <laughs> but it is a tradition to, for Canadian Lieutenant Governors to have an audience with the Queen. So I'm pleased to get yet another opportunity at that photograph. <laughs> Sorry, Allison. <laughs> we are fortunate to live in a province as diverse as our country. I have always loved our provincial motto, from many people's strength. Our people are indeed our great, greatest strength. We are, in an innovated, we are an innovative and tolerant people 
who want to live in peace and harmony with one another and with this magnificent terrain we call home. We value equal rights and opportunity for all. We look for input from all of our citizens. When I worked with the Nishka people in British Columbia, they taught me their concept of the common bowl, which is the very foundation of their culture. It is the paramount principles upon which the Ayuk, or the ancient set of laws, are based. Nishka are taught to understand that since everyone relies on the same resources and community, all must contribute. For them, it's about sharing energy, wisdom, spirit, joy, and sadness, and it touches all aspects of their life. The common bowl is very similar to the idea behind our province's motto from many people's strengths. Simply put, we are stronger when we work together. Further, as we all benefit from this land, it is incumbent upon us, each one of us, to give, the, to give back. I believe we create better solutions when we hear more voices and when we are open to more ideas. And so this is an exciting time in our country as we move forward in a spirit of renewed reconciliation. When I negotiated treaties throughout Canada, I came to believe that treaties are necessary, urgent, and fundamental to the long-term health and well-being of this country. I believe that today and moving forward. There are the inevitable detractors who point to expanse, lack of progress, and the energy and time-consuming nature of the processes and label it flawed. But the most courageous initiatives are flawed. And I'm from the school that believes that the ultimate flaw would be to lack courage. Reconciliation will not be easy, but it is critical to the future of our country. It requires of each of us a willingness to operate outside our comfort zones and to make a concerted effort towards relationship building. Many have asked me what will I focus on during my term in office. And I have said that before I can develop themes, I need to engage, consult, and listen. And I certainly hope, in fact, I dream that in five years, when my term is coming to a close, we will have made progress towards eliminating racism in our province, that we will have moved forward on the journey to reconciliation. I hope more volunteers feel valued and inspire others to give their time. I hope we understand more clearly our impact on the planet and how we can each contribute to sustainability. But perhaps more than any one focus, I see my time in this role as a unique opportunity to bring people from different unique backgrounds together, to listen to each other, to really listen, to be heard and to be understood and to improve the quality of life for everyone. I look forward to meeting the remarkable people of Saskatchewan, to listening, to learning from you, to celebrating your achievements, to moving forward together. I'd like to close with the words of my friend, the former commissioner of Nunavut, Anne Hansen. She writes, the technical translation of Nunavut is simply our land. The emotional, spiritual, deeper meaning of Nunavut is our homeland. To some Inuit with deeper knowledge of language, when Nunavut is spoken, the silent understanding means we share in this together unconditionally. And there is an intense gratitude. We share in this together unconditionally, and there is an intense gratitude. What a beautiful sentiment. I hope you understand, for me, there is most certainly an intense gratitude for this place and our people. 
I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve in our remarkable land, this land of swift flowing rivers, this land of living skies. God bless Saskatchewan, God bless Canada, God save the Queen. I would now like to ask Luther College's advanced vocal ensemble to sing a selection for us. This time we will hear It Takes a Village by Joan Shipko.
Thank you. Thank you to Dr. Melissa Morgan and Ave for their wonderful performance today. Ladies and gentlemen, immediately after the singing of O Canada, we will leave the chamber and proceed outside for the inspection of the Guard of Honour by our province's newly installed Lieutenant Governor, followed by a 15-gun salute and a fly past. Our staff will assist with this movement. Following the outdoor ceremony, please return to the building for the speaker's tea, which will be served in both room 218 and the Legislative Library. I will ask that all guests remain in their places until the following depart the chamber in this order. The Viceregal Party, the official party, including the Premier, the Chief Justice, the Leader of the Opposition, and the Clerk of Executive Council. The Speaker's Party, Minister Macaulay and the representatives of the Government of Canada and Ms. Saloum. The family of the Lieutenant Governor, all MLAs, and guests in the Chamber. Thank you for joining in the installation of the new representative of Her Majesty the Queen in our province. Au nom du gouvernement de la Saskatchewan, je vous remercie de votre participation à cette cérémonie d'installation du nouveau représentant de Sa Majesté la Reine dans notre province. Would you please rise for the singing of our national anthem, O Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, His Honour, the Honourable Thomas Malloy, Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. 